Ollie, first of all, congratulations. Noel Dorridge, first team captain. How does that feel? Um, first of all, I want to thank Mids for his leadership over the past year. Um, but from a personal point of view, it's an honour to lead the first team. It's seen as one of the premier cricket clubs in the area and to have the opportunity to lead the club, the first team, is a massive, massive privilege. You're quite a, an extrovert as a, as a player. Yeah. So you play here for two or three years. Um, quite vocal. Will it change as a captain, do you think? I, I'd like to think not. Um, well, I'm not going to change just because I have the label of captain here over my head. Um, I'd like to think, if anything, it might bring players with me. Um, um, so, no, I don't think it would change me to greater. And what sort of team can we expect to see playing with you, underneath you? Um, me being a, a, like an extrovert, like you're saying, I, I, I want people to really express themselves and express express their personalities and could rely on cricketing abilities on the field and certainly off it as well. Um, I feel like that's probably where you'll get the best out of each individual. And the, the new captain and the new director of cricket with David Smith come in. You spoke to David Woods, have you had much com many conversations with him? Yeah, me and David have been chatting on the phone quite a bit, messaging here and there as well. I'm very excited to create a relationship with Dave. Um, he certainly knows what he's talking about. Works within cricket for complete good. Well, runs complete cricket, so he knows what he's talking about both on and off the field. So very excited to develop the relationship with him. And obviously, in the winter, there's players come and go inevitably. We're not sure, obviously, quite sure what's going to happen. Yeah, but can you see players coming in to the, to the club? I mean, there's there's a possibility of recruitment <laughs> without being to give too much away um yes i mean if you if you're standing still you're not just forward are you let's face it like i mean you were always looking to do better like we didn't we didn't do very well last year by our own standards so recruitment is obviously the first place where you'd look to do better for the following season so yeah it probably would be there are players that we are looking at and there's players that have contacted us as well are uh, looking forward to either training and playing for the club next year. And um, what's the Olicoral ambition and, and also the you know, ambition of the club? What's the ambition of Olicoral? What, what do you want next year? I think personally and, and for the team as well. I, uh, it's tough to talk personally because it's still pretty fresh after the season. Um, I've spoken a little bit about Dave with this. Um, not in Norwich ever since, like they probably last won the league. Oh, forgive me for knowing when that year was, but. They've almost had a, had a tag on their back of, I like, should have been doing better. Um, I'm trying to get rid of that and let people just express themselves and just play cricket. At the end of the day, we play sport because we enjoy it. And therefore, I think we will get the best out of, uh, best out of everyone. And then the outcome takes care of itself.